So up everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on what's happened, you know, almost two years ago, but it's always worth revisiting when you look at the, the issues Washington Capitals have had with their first line right wing spot and um, you know what Philip Forsberg's doing in Nashville, you know, really doing some big time things as a twenty year old young man. Um, you look back at that Martin Erat trade, which I didn't. I, I thought Nashville got a steal at the time, and you look at how Erat forces were out of Washington less than a year later. Uh, who he played a total of sixty two games with the Washington Capitals, and had twenty seven points, two goals in that stretch. This year in Phoenix, twenty one points in forty five games, or Arizona, excuse me. But you look at what Forsberg's done. He's got. 41 points in 46 games in the season. Definitely a front runner for the Calder Trophy, and you know one of the best players in the one of the best you know rookies in the NHL, and potentially you know down the line one of the best players in the NHL. You know really good offensive skill set, and you know the potential of being Nashville's first homegrown offensive star. Um, you know since the trade from Nashville, uh, Erats scored 11 NHL goals. Forsberg has 16 on the season. So that's that's what you're looking at, and I mean, you know, Dave Poyle. I mean, this he should be arrested for robbery. This was high. This was a heist. You know, you had him at you had the Washington Capitals at gunpoint. Um, you know, George McPhee is just. I mean, you know, God bless him. Just, you know, couldn't uh, couldn't look past. You know, it was really short sighted, and you know, I just think um, that allowing a player like Forsberg to get away. You know, the Capitals are right now a playoff team, but, you know, having him in that mix, you know, with Ovechkin, with Bastion, with guys like that, you know, you'd be an even more dangerous team in the in the East, and I know you can try to spin it whatever way you want to, but there's no real way to spin this. Nashville robbed the Washington, point blank. You know, the Caps got robbed, and, um, you know, I just think, you know, you look at where the where both franchises are going. You know, Nashville had a couple down seasons, but now they're you know they're back in it. They're one of the best teams in the NHL. And the Capitals are a team that's going to be, you know, battling out for a playoff spot. And I think that speaks testament. That speaks volumes about the um, the organizational makeup of both teams. You know, of where Nashville's at and where Washington. I know they've changed GMs. I've seen McPhee's out of there, rightfully so. But it's the same thing. You know, a year, two years later, it's it's still an absolute um, kind of joke of a trade. You know that this happened, that the Capitals were willing to give up Philip Forsberg for Martin Erat, whose career high in points was 58 in 2012. And Forsberg's uh, 17 points away from top, and that at age 20. You know, no, there's nothing, there's no short things in the NHL, even with a great player like Forsberg, you know, maybe he bottoms out, but, or, you know, kind of levels out and becomes, you know, a solid second-line player, but still, I think he's going to be a, a point-of-game player for a long time in the NHL, and, you know, the uh, Capitals could really use that in their system. But, again, I'm not trying to throw salt in the wound for, for uh, Caps fans, but it's still kind of funny that this trade actually happened. You know. Anyway, that's all this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the you know how much does Washington regret the Marty Erat trade. Stay tuned for episode of the season and beyond. Later, guys.